Ready to make some shrimp tacos? Yum! Welcome, I'm Rose Zotley, and today we're gonna be making some shrimp tacos with a super delicious creamy avocado cilantro sauce that not only you can use on your shrimp tacos, but you can also use as a dip with chips. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Peace Love Forever 88 and Mrs. H, a couple of my great viewers. Thank you so much for your support and your wonderful comments. You guys rock. We're going to start by putting two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp into a bowl. Then we're going to add one teaspoon or one clove of minced garlic, one teaspoon of cumin, gotta have that cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of red chili powder. Now we're going to squeeze one whole lime in here. We're going to give this a mix, making sure all of our shrimp is covered in our spices. We'll let this marinate while we make our sauce. I'm starting with our veggies, we'll cut and dice one fourth of an onion, cut and dice half of a red bell pepper, chop, 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 half of a green bell pepper, we also want to cut the leafy part of a cilantro bush. I'm going to reserve about half a cup for my shrimp and then the rest for my sauce. I have a pretty large jalapeno here that I'm going to be slicing in half. Now since this is a pretty large one, I'm only going to use half today and we are going to be um, de-seeding it. So if you wear contacts, I recommend that you wear a glove or you can even use a Ziploc bag to scoop everything out. If you like it hot, you can go ahead and leave some seeds in there. If you're a wimp like me, then remove them. For my sauce or dressing, I'm going to start by slicing a large avocado. <laughs> anyway, in a ninja or a food processor, go ahead and scoop out your whole avocado. Oh, ninja, talk about perfect timing. I wish I could hear your best karate chop. Go ahead, do it anyway. Now we'll add half a cup of our cilantro, two tablespoons of your jalapenos, one teaspoon of minced garlic, half a cup of mayonnaise, add half a cup of Greek yogurt, We'll also be adding a 3 4th cup of sour cream. Add a package of ranch seasoning mix, and you want to squeeze one whole lime. I'm also going to add half a cup of heavy cream. And now we're ready to crush and blend. To thin it out, you can add about a 4th cup of milk or however much milk you need to get it to the consistency you want. At this point, you want to add salt to your taste. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of pepper. Also, be sure to scrape the sides if you need to. Let me give it a taste, make sure it's where I need it to be. I usually like to add my sauce into one of these. You can find these at any grocery store or Walmart, Target. They all have them and they're really cheap. Okay, let's go ahead and refrigerate this for now. I'm going to be using a cast iron skillet and I want to get it nice and hot. Then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of virgin olive oil. We're going to saute our veggies, so let's add our onions, our red bell peppers, and our green bell peppers. I'm going to lower my heat to about a four for now. You can lower your temp down a little bit if you have to. Now I'm going to come in with some salt and pepper. We'll mix and saute for about one to two minutes. It shouldn't take long. Now we're gonna transfer this to a plate temporarily. I'm going to raise the temp because we want our pan nice and hot so our fajitas can sizzle when they hit the pan. Add a couple of teaspoons of virgin olive oil and three tablespoons of butter. Now, if you wanna go extra healthy, you can skip the butter, but I like that gives it a really nice flavor. Now that everything's melted, let's go ahead and add our shrimp. If it's not sizzling, it's not hot enough. Let's go ahead and add some salt and pepper. I'm also going to go in with one teaspoon of minced garlic. You can start flipping them over. The shrimp shouldn't take long to cook. They just need to cook until they're nice and pink. Now make sure that you don't overcook them, otherwise they'll taste rubbery. I don't want to overcook my shrimp, so I'm going to turn my temp down to a number two for now. At this point, our shrimp is just about done, so I'm going to go back and add my veggies back in. 
Let's go ahead and mix everything together and mm, it's smelling so good guys. Our shrimp is pretty much done. I'm gonna go in with some cilantro and we're gonna get this all mixed in. Cilantro adds such a delicious flavor, you gotta have it. I'm also gonna top it off by squeezing half a lime on top. Now we're gonna heat up our tortillas and for shrimp tacos, I like them with corn tortillas. They're also more healthier, but by all means, if you prefer flour, go for it. Now we're ready to build our tacos. Load them up with shrimp, guys. And oh my, that delicious smell is just killing me over here. I normally like to add shredded cabbage, but today I've got a little bit of a mix, so this will work too. Now we're gonna add our delicious sauce or dressing, whatever you wanna call it. And don't forget to save it later for chips or nachos. Garnish with a little more cilantro and mm, is your mouth watering already? Cause mine sure is. So let's go in for that taste. Oh my gosh, so good. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.